Hey ya folks, I am the Mighty Plantain and I got something a little different for you this time around. I was poking around on a couple of different pages on Facebook and saw something on the main memes page that kind of caught my eye. Now, um, I had to download, <coughs> or copy and paste I should say, the uh, description. This is something called the Burnt Trailer. Now, this drink's been on the menu for years at the Great Lost Bear in Portland and might be the most main cocktail ever invented. Oh, got my interest. It simply comprises one part Allen's Coffee Brandy to two parts Moxie. Okay, best enjoyed with a lobster roll and a slice of blueberry pie while wearing a t-shirt that either features a moose, a lighthouse, or Stephen King, or all three. Well... Found my lighthouse t-shirt. Don't own either of the other two. Too damn late at night to get a lobster roll anywhere. And the, uh, the blueberry pie did not survive Thanksgiving at my mom's house. So, uh, one part Alan's coffee brandy to two parts Moxie. Well, I've got a complicated history with Moxie. Um, I kind of don't like it, but I like the fact that I can drink it. It's a point of pride for most folks in this state. And if Bush were here, he would point out the awfully memorable Allen's Coffee Brandy incident. And um, this stuff usually isn't very good for me. So in the interest of fairness here, I am actually going to measure this out and try to do it due diligence. So here goes the burnt trailer. And no, I'm not using a shot glass because somehow I don't think that would really fill this glass up that much. Plus, it would be more, more difficult to pour. Oh, I can smell that stuff already. Try not to fizz it up too much here. Oh, I can definitely make it proportioned correctly. Now that just smells bad. It's like the, the nuttiness and that bitter aroma of the moxie is just competing for competing for space with the harsh coffee flavor or coffee aroma of the Allens. They're competing to see which one can burn off the most nose hairs. This is going to be rough. I can already tell. Got to do it. exactly how many cats puked in that trailer before you set it aflame. Seriously, the burnt trailer, it... I don't know. Maybe there's a bit of burnt flavor to it, but... Ooh, excuse me. Maybe like the burnt coffee. When somebody leaves the pot on the coffee maker for way too long and it just starts crusting to the bottom. If you scrape that up and mixed it with a little motor oil and turpentine you might get this. That has gone awful. Who the hell thought of this? Are we trying to keep the folks from away from coming back? Oh yeah, order, order the burnt trail. It's the most main cocktail you can get. Go ahead and have two or three. 
Fuck. We want them to keep coming here and spending their tourist dollars, not puke and run away. I can't condone this. It's inhumane. Oh, thanks. Oh, I'm gonna pay for this one. <clears throat> I just hope I can't taste it when it comes back up. Oh, <coughs> oh. even the burps are horrible. I'm going to have to drink the whole bottle of Moxie afterwards just to cleanse my palate. How's that? Huh? That says something in and of itself. Oh. <clears throat> oh, that. Oh, that burp came up and went back down a little bit and... <coughs> Almost choked me. <clears throat> oh, God. My eyes are actually starting to water. That doesn't even happen when I drink spicy beers and horseradish vodka. Mm. God, don't smell it while you're drinking it. <coughs> That's just ten kinds of awful. <clears throat> Okay, it's gone. It's bad. I'm never doing this again. Mm. You shouldn't either. But if you should try it, let me know if you agree or disagree. Hit me up in the comments and the email link down below. Love to hear what you thought of this. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and share it. Don't forget to click that little subscribe button down there. You'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Well, next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Cheers. That's actually better. Oh, way better. Thanks for having me. Well, oh, thanks for the beer, man. So, highly recommended by Extreme Beer Fest this weekend. We'll be able to get a hold of, I believe it's the American.